Hi everybody, this is Pete, and today you're watching the Camera Lucida 9.0 introductory tutorial. In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the iOS application Camera Lucida to draw on paper with your favorite pen or pencil. To get started, all you're going to need is some paper to draw on, something to draw with, maybe a little bit of tape to hold the paper down so it doesn't move around, your iOS device with the camera on the back, and most importantly, some way of holding your device parallel to your drawing surface so that you can place your device over your drawing so the camera can see what you're doing. Once you've done that, you select an image that you want to draw. In this case, I'm going to go to my camera roll and maybe pick this picture of David Tennant. Then you can zoom in and pan as you like, maybe rotate it. And as you're placing your image on your drawing surface, it gives you a transparent view so you can see where it's going to go underneath. And when you're happy with it, you just let go, and then you're ready to draw. When you're ready to draw, you hit the hand holding the pencil button, and now you're in the draw mode. Once you're in the draw mode, you have a main slider down here that adjusts the transparency between your reference image and your drawing surface. The ghost image is used to help you to draw on the paper correctly. A double tap zooms you right in. I'm going to get started here with the eye. I come in and I basically, using a combination of pressure, hatching, or any drawing technique that you want, I fill in where I see it's, it's a kind of tracing, but it's up to you to decide where the lines go, which lines you draw, which lines you don't draw. In later tutorials, I'm going to show you advanced techniques for doing things like recording screen images, screen captures, time-lapse recordings, all of those sort of things. But in this introductory tutorial, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what the app is able to do. Because the camera and the drawing surface are perfectly aligned, you can just drag the screen over. You can even attach a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth keyboard to remotely control things like transparency and the zooming and the panning. As you can see, it's pretty easy to make a drawing that comes out quite fantastic. I'm just doing the eyes to begin with. I always start with the eyes because if the eyes aren't correct on a portrait, then someone's going to notice immediately that something's wrong. When you're done, you can always double tap to zoom out, adjust the transparency at any time, and look at what you've drawn so far. So I hope that gives you an idea of what the application can be used for. Stay tuned for more tutorials on more advanced topics. Thanks.